The oldest living female American celebrated her 107th birthday recently and celebrated the milestone this week. Surrounded by family and close friends, relatives recalled fond memories of the centenarian who grew up in South Trinidad. Kimberly D'Souza has more in this report. Mommy was the neighborhood lawyer. She was the neighborhood midwife. She was the neighborhood doctor. And if you didn't give her a chance, she would have been the neighborhood mechanic. <laughs> she was everything to everybody in the neighborhood. Rita Smike's daughter, Jackie Coker, recalled the times when her mother helped everyone in the village of Lothian's Road, Princess Town, where Mrs. Smike lived with her husband and raised their five children. The centenarian has 13 grandchildren, 30 great-grandchildren, and eight great-great-grandchildren with another on the way. One of her nieces said it is because of God and her belief in him that her aunt is alive today. Because of the grace of God, she is alive. So let us now take a page from her book and let us give God the place that he deserves at the center of our lives. The Americans were former African-American slaves who were promised freedom by the British if they fought for them against the United States in 1812. They arrived in Trinidad between 1815 and 1816 and settled in South Trinidad. One family friend, who was also a descendant of Americans, gave a brief history of when they arrived. When we came here, we were very spiritual in nature. We, were, we, we assembled ourselves, we had our own court hearings at the 34th and the 5th company, agricultural in nature, and we were well respected. The women would have the men plant in the, in the, in the plantation, they carry the corn. They were also known for a genre of music known as the Negro Spirituals, which was composed by their forefathers. Mr. Callender also serenaded the birthday girl. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.